What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to add a badge to your Roblox game or to a part to be exact. So make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and turn on that bell with notifications so on any new videos and let's get right into it. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is actually go create the badge. So what you want to do to actually do this is go to your create tab as you can see here. Go choose your game, click down and click create badge. But because I created this game with a couple of friends of mine, which is my hangout, you guys can go join it by joining my group in the description below. You can go ahead and buy some merch if you know what I'm saying. So here we are at the badge, create badge section. As you can see, we already have one, which is the one I'm actually going to be showing you guys how to use. So first of all, you have to choose a file for your badge. I'm just going to choose a random file and then whatever you want to call it, whatever, right? E -e -e -e. There you go. So as you can see, now it works. So you want to click preview. And as you can see, it's gonna say purchase for 100 Robux. So what you wanna do here is as you can see, you created your badge, you have the thing and everything. Then what you do is click purchase and it would go inside of your thing. But since I already have a badge ready, it would already be created. So now that my badge is created, you click on it and there it is as in the game. Now, right now is when I'm gonna show you how you can actually add the badge onto a part into the game. So here is the badge that I've created. It's for the tower of true beginning inside of my hangout game so right now i'm going to show you guys how to add a badge to your a part here so this is a teleporter that teleports you to the win room and what you want to do actually is get the part create a new script and once you create a new script you guys go to the description below and copy this because whenever you copy this this is what's going to show this is what you're going to copy in the description below to actually get your badge to work whenever you step on this part. So, what you do here is once you finish copying this thing, you wanna go to your badge and you wanna copy this ID number itself. Click copy. Once you click copy, you already should have this copied into your script. Remove these numbers or this ID here and place it in. Once you place the ID in, you should be able to go to your game and get the badge. Quickly turn that off, go over here, click publish to Roblox and close the studio. Now as you can see, I'm going to delete this from my inventory so you guys can actually see me win the badge. So as you can see, it just reloaded. So let me quickly join inside of my hangout game and show you guys how this is going. So as you can see here, we're inside the game. As you can see, people have donated. You should join up and donate to be number one because I want money so I can make more videos. Lol. This is also another merch thing that I'm going that I made another tutorial on. You can go check that out in the top right corner. Anyway, um, once you put in your script and everything, so you add the part, you added the script, you added the ID number, you made your badge and everything. Now you should be able to step on your thing and get the badge, as you can tell. So there you go, guys. That's how you get and add a Roblox badge to your game and add it to a part. Now, if you're wondering how you can get a badge called Welcome to the Game for players who are just joining, now I'm pretty sure this works. What you wanna do is that on top of the spawn point, you wanna put, let's say an invisible wall and put a badge towards that. That's my idea on how you could add a Welcome to the Game type badge but I'm not sure of it. But there you go, guys. That's how you get a badge in your Roblox game and add it to a part. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, subscribe, and turn that bell for notifications so that any new videos. Also, one more thing, I don't usually make tutorials. I usually just make normal Roblox videos. So I'm sorry if I, this video got popular and my others didn't. So <laughs> anyway, again, I hope you guys enjoyed this, enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, subscribe, and turn that bell for notifications so that any new videos. You guys all next time. Bye!